So I became lucid walking down a hallway in my old middle school. And I noticed that there were some people just following me from a bit of a distance down the hallway. And uh, at first I tried to just ignore them out of existence. Uh, but it didn't work. That's actually the second time that that failed to work in a lucid dream recently. So I decided to just stop and turn around and practice some dream combat on them. But rather than attacking me, they just wanted to ask me what the term Hail Mary meant. So I just told them it means like a last resort, like uh, like in football, like a Hail, a Hail Mary. I don't actually know football at all, but I think that's what that is. Maybe it's like a toss from a very great distance or a pass. But they were unsatisfied with that definition. They wanted like the original meaning, like who is Mary and why are we hailing her? Um, so I told them about how it's like a Catholic prayer to Mary, who is the mother of Jesus. And uh, they seemed happier with that. That probably happened because I'm often frustrated with non-literal translations. I mean, I get that literal translations are kind of unhelpful sometimes, but I at least like to have both the literal and the figurative translation. So they went away. I guess that's all they wanted. And uh, then I decided to look for a cafeteria. So at first I actually started to look for one, like look around the hallways for one, like you might do in real life. But that doesn't work when you're in dreams because you're not actually in a school. There's no cafeteria anywhere. Um, so if you kind of just look around as if there's actually one at some fixed location, um, usually that doesn't work for me. Um, and I remembered that at this point. So instead I decided to look around my immediate area where I was already standing for a cafeteria. And uh, I saw one to my right. So it's kind of like manifesting it, but more casually, I guess. So as I was walking into the cafeteria, I remember to reality check, which may or may not keep me lucid for longer. I'm still not sure. I've only done it a few times. And then I started walking over to the place where they give away food so that I could get some food. But I think I had a false awakening there. So yeah, now I was in my bed. I think this bed in this house. Um, and I was hearing my mom's music playing. At first I thought I was just hearing it like in my head, but eventually it became more and more clear and um, it was a song that I didn't know, so I figured that couldn't just be in my head. So what I was thinking was that my mom was on the treadmill in the TV room listening to music, which she does sometimes, um, and I was thinking that that had woken me up, um, but really I had actually fallen back to sleep. I was trying to dream chain throughout all this, trying to like ignore the music while attempting to fall back to sleep. And uh, yeah, it was another case of it working, but me not knowing that it worked. So I got up out of my bed and uh, left my room. And now I was in my old house that I grew up in. And uh, I went down to the TV room in that house to ask my mom to have the doors closed and the, the volume a little lower. Um, the next time she is on the treadmill that early, because I was still thinking it was like 3 in the morning. But I think this is when I realized it was still a dream, because my mom doesn't work out that early in the morning. I think most people don't, unless they're like a Navy SEAL. So then I went to leap through the front door. I tried to open it with my hand motion commands, but uh, it didn't work. So then I tried a more aggressive motion with my hands. I tried to do like a karate type of punch in the air, but in the direction of the door and while visualizing it opening, but that didn't work either. And uh, so then I tried the motion of like an earthbender, if you're familiar with Mr. Aang, the last airbender. I'm not going to demonstrate what I did, but it was my own interpretation of earthbending motions. Didn't work either, long story short. So I decided to just manifest a key, and I did it with the narration, the narration technique. So I said out loud, oh yeah, good thing I have a key in my pocket. So that worked. I pulled the key out of my pocket um, and then went to unlock the door, but it was already open. Probably should have checked it first. So left through the front door and started flying in the west direction. I haven't been in my hometown in a long time. Well, to my right. And um, it, was, it was really dark, so I started singing This Little Light of Mine. Um, but it didn't work actually. And um, yeah, so it was dark and actually now it was raining too. And there were rocks flying into me. 
very unfriendly conditions. And then either the dream changed or I had a false awakening. Let me check my notes. Yeah, I really woke up, but then I dream chained again. And this time I was able to realize that I had successfully fallen back to sleep. So now I was on like a dirt road, like a highway road, but not a high highway. It was just like on the ground. And uh, so I was flying, but there was wind blowing against me. So I wasn't able to fly that fast, but it was sunny at least. So that was cool. So at first I was flying normally in the third person. No, the first person. Yeah, so first I was in first person, but then it changed and I was kind of in third person. And I was watching myself fly, except it was one of those cases where it doesn't look like me. It looks like a random dude, but I understood it to be me. And yeah, so he slash I was flying against the wind. And there was a girl flying towards him. They were trying to fly like towards each other, but they couldn't get to each other. They were like reaching very dramatically. I was thinking maybe that kind of symbolizes the conscious trying to meet the unconscious or the subconscious, which is basically what trying to lucid dream is in a sense. So then uh, the dream started to fade away, but I was able to um, restabilize it by just looking at the details of the road and when we said basically just the road and the dirt, I think. So yeah, dream was stable again. And uh, so I decided to turn and fly in the direction that the wind was going, which was much easier. I was able to fly at a normal speed. So there was a tunnel down the road. I flew over it. And then on the other side, there was another turn tunnel, but it was like a volcano, like a tunnel that went through a volcano. And uh, the volcano was also like a museum, like they had turned the volcano into, mu into a museum. And uh, I was going to fly over it, and I heard, like, the voice of an announcer type of dude saying facts about the volcano, like, it's believed to be this old and uh, made out of this type of rock and stuff like that. And then it started to erupt, the volcano, which is unfortunate because there was a dude in there. But he wasn't real, probably. But I was real and scared, so I decided to fly away um, back in the opposite direction of the wind. And I tried to do that turbo thing again, which didn't work last time. It also didn't work this time. I tried to imagine rockets or like rocket engine type stuff coming out of my feet and um, visualizing the surroundings going by really fast, but it didn't end up working. And I uh, woke up there, I think. So it's pretty much it. So I tried having blueberries during Wake Back to Bed for like probably a, at least a week in a row, or every night in a row for a week. But uh, I'm pretty sure that does nothing, because only one of those nights had pretty good control, and the rest were just pretty average. So yeah, there was that theory. But we tried it. I think now I'm going to just try a bunch of different foods during Wake Back to Bed to see if any of them have an effect. I've been trying apples. Um, I think I've only tried it two nights in a row. No, one night. And I uh, didn't have a lucid dream that night. Um, but I'm going to probably try it for at least a week and uh, see what happens. I think that's pretty much it, though. See you next time.